Hey guys, uh, Toxic Flames here with another YouTube video. Um, this time we're going to be learning Black Veil Brides again. Well done, you guessed it. It's just the world needs more Black Veil Brides, we all know it, so I'm giving it to you. Um, that's what she said. Um, this time we're going to be doing Knives and Pens. Um, it's like, you know, one of the most famous songs. Um, I, I like it, it was the song that got me into Black Veil Brides. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for 19 subscribers by the way. Yeah, it, I know it's nothing compared to all the stars, but you know it's a lot to me. I didn't, I, I expect to have like five at this stage. So th uh, thanks for that. Uh, just so you know, um, just keep the support coming. Cheers. Um, this is um, so yeah. Let's just get straight into it. Um, the tuning is drop D, so it's still the same. It's E, B, G, D, A. But then instead of E, you want to tune it down a whole step. Um, to just to D, uh, an octave lower than this, so it, so it'll just be. Okay, it's it's really easy. Um, so you heard the tutorial. I played it first. So um, um, first thing you want to do, um, use a use a pick. Um, just to palm mute the uh, bottom D string, which is okay. Just palm mute it twice. Just hit hit it twice. Okay, and then after that, you want to use your first finger on the eighth fret of the A string. So it's. Okay, and then you want to hit the bottom string again after that. Um, every time you hit this this bottom D string, you'll probably be palm muting it, okay? Because it just it just it just sounds messy if you don't palm mute it. So it's um D D A D. But make sure you've got the eighth fret of the A. After that, you want to um, use your third finger on the tenth fret of the A string. So it's and then you want to hit the D string again, then the eighth fret of the A string again. And then the palm mute the D string again. Okay, if you stop, just rewind the video. So this is the first bit slowly. Okay, and then after that, this is all on the A string. You want to go 8th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Okay. Um, the way I do it, I use my second finger for the 8th fret, then my first finger for the 7th fret. Slide down and hit the fifth. So it's, it's a whoops. Okay, I'll just, I'll just do that. So, and then on the D string, uh, use your third finger to hit the seventh fret of the D string, then first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. So it's okay. And then after that, you want to hit the on the A string, the eighth fret, and then the seventh fret. So it's okay. Um, and then you wanna use you wanna hit all these notes the D and the the D and the A and the D just together, except you wanna bar your first finger on the eighth fret. Okay. Love that chord. And then, um, so after that, oh, yeah. and then um, after that, you so after you've hit the chord, big power chord, you wanna um, keep your fingers barred on it. Well, finger barred on it, and then you wanna hit this, um, the D string, still on the eighth fret, and then you wanna hit the other D string. So um, hit the chord. Okay, hit the chord. D, D. So, and then you want to, after that you want to use your pinky, your fourth finger, to get to reach the twelfth fret on the A string. So it's okay. And after that you want to use your first finger to slide up on the A string from the eighth fret to the tenth fret. Okay. After that, you want to hit the tenth fret again. So it's so. It's, okay. um, you, I guess you can hammer on and hammer on. So it, it sounds better if you slide. Okay, so this is all together slowly. Okay, and then you want to use.
use your pinky again, your fourth finger, on the 14th fret of the D string. Okay. And then you want to hammer on and pull off, just like rapidly, with your um, first and third finger on the 10th and 12th fret of the D string. So it's 10 and 12 on the D. So, so it's, as soon as you hit that 14th, you just... Okay. So this is the first part slowly. Okay, it's it's up to you if you just like rapidly do it, just do it a number of times, and then the second part you do exactly the same for the first bit. So um, you you just do this again. Okay, but instead of doing um. So as soon as you hit that, uh, you slide up on the 8th and 10th, as soon as you do that, um, it's, it's this, okay, which is your 4th finger on the 15th fret of the D string, your 3rd finger on the 14th fret of the D string, so it's, and then you want to use your 1st finger on the 12th fret of the D string, so it's, okay. And then you want to use your 2nd finger on the 13th fret of the A string, First finger on the 12th fret of the A string, and then first finger on the 12th fret of the bottom D string. So it's, oh, that's what it was. 15, 14, 12, 13, 12, 12. Okay, so this is all of it. Depends. Um, I'll probably be doing the um, rest of the song, you know, all of it. By the way, it's going to be the original version, not the new one, because, you know, the new one has all that solo in, which I can't do because I'm too bad. Um, I can do the, you know, all that stuff. Um, if you want that, um, if you want to learn how to do that, just um, comment in the next video and uh, like, subscribe, and um, peace. See you next time. Thanks.